hey everybody, look, I'm going downhill for once. But that here in New Hampshire is only a momentary situation. Well, here's what's going on. It's autumn, days are short, it's cold. I've got about an hour and some change. I'm gonna go back to one of my local cellar holes. Back up there, it's the one I call the cellar hole that waited. I had found it over a year ago, and I believe that this will be the ninth trip, but I wanna come back out here now that it's autumn because I want to see the vegetation situation and just do a little bit of picking. Today is a definite quick dig vlog style. This is what I do. And whatever happens, you're gonna see. So let's get up there. All right, here we are. Well, it's been six months waiting for all this stuff to die off. As you can see, it's still present, but it's a little bit thinner than it was. And the way winter goes in New England, it could come in November. So that's why I figured I'd get out here today and see what I could find. Last time I was out here, not much, but that's the beauty of having these permissions close to home. Is I can come out any time and just pick away. And if I can raise one button or some other relic, I'll be quite happy. So let's see what happens. And at almost 10 inches, a big chunk of iron. Wow. All right, we have a start. Well, as you can see, not a hot signal, but at this point in the game, after working this site for so long, and being that we want every relic, at this point, any target I hear is coming out. Oh, beautiful. Voila. Dinnerware knife. Digging inside the footprint is rough with all the caved in rocks and bricks and stuff. So just an update on this site. All we can figure out is it's been abandoned at least 200 years, right around the 1820s era. We think a veteran lived here because of the two military buttons we found, but yet we still can't figure out who the people were that lived here. Thorns are still brutal out here. All right, let's see what we missed. Oh, nice. There we go, part of an escutcheon. Beautiful. Good. Two relics. All within the living space. You can already tell by what I'm dealing with on the ground here. I'm gonna have to come back in a month or so if there's no snow on the ground. All right with another terrible signal I just dug up a tool. I'm not exactly sure what it was. It almost looks like the nose of a scythe blade but you can see there's a very short blade and a tang here, but uh, either way, we got another relic. An iron tack buckle. Good. And as uh, our buddy Tin Man Cliff had said about negative comments about us talking up rust, all this stuff is important. Again, nobody's lived here for 200 years. It's all important. These are all relics and all part of the history. Big old chunk of the bean pot, Dutch oven. Got the seam mark, that's cool. Again, chasing terrible signals, whatever. It's a P. 
piece of tin, but see how it tapers narrower to wider in these two rims? I believe that's a handle from a tin cup. Not much left to it, but that's what I believe it was. Another iron signal. It's the tip of a dinnerware knife. What's left of the poor thing, but glad I found it. Well, I'm nearing the end of my hour. And realistically, not bad. For the ninth trip, and just coming out here because I like it out here, pretty good. Old stuff is good stuff, and uh, I like just picking away at these sites right in the neighborhood. It's cool to come out and daydream and think of those people that were here back in the 1700s. So, I'm gonna meander my way out of the woods, and I'll see you guys all very soon. Get out, explore your world, go back to your sites. Just enjoy digging up old stuff. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday. Thank mm -hmm. you.